hope and opportunities never ends. So welcome once again Al Al Ahli Online TV English News. I'm Yumna Atwa Al Al Ahli Wiyas Salam Stadium to get you the top weekly news of the club of the century. So let's start with the headlines. Al Ahli complete sensational comeback to beat Al Muqawilun. Al Ahli faces a duhail in FIFA Club World Cup. Al Ahli held two goals draw by National Bank of Egypt. Musimani described the team performance in the National Bank game. Al Ahli sends an official letter to EFA arguing to put an end to the unquestionable mistakes of the referees. Sulaiman to miss FIFA Club World Cup. Al Ahli women's volleyball team wins the derby at home. Al Ahli managed to achieve a precious 3 to 2 victory over Al Muqawdun Al Arab in the ninth fixture of the Egyptian Premier League. Our players started the first half looking forward to scoring the first goal, but they were faced by a tough opponent. Al Muqawdun's player Basim Ali managed to score the opening goal in the game in the 38th minute. In the final minutes of the first half, Al Muqawdun doubled the score by Sifidin Al Jazeera to end the first half with a 2 to 0 lead. The second half started with our manager Patsy Musimani changing Mahmoud Karaba with Tahir Muhammad Tahir. In the 58th minute, Marwan Mohsin and Muhammad Sharif replaced Walter Bouali and Yal Yujang. After two minutes, Tahir made his appearance with a beautiful shot, which found the net scoring our first goal in the game. After 10 minutes, Al Ali's attacking player Muhammad Sharif stepped in, equalized the score. In the 78th minute, Isulaya and Salah Mohsin entered the match instead of Hussein Shahat and Yasser Ibrahim. After three minutes, Afshay gave us the lead for the first time in the game after his wonderful shot that found the net. With that result, the Red Eagles returned back to the top of the Egyptian league table with a total of 20 points. Al Ahli 2020 CAF Champions League winners will face Qatari champions at Doha on 4 February at Education City Stadium in the first round of the 2020 FIFA Club World Cup scheduled in Qatar. Competition draw took place on Tuesday afternoon at the Hume FIFA in Zurich. The winner of the match will face Germany's Bayern Munich in the semi finals on 8 February. In the eighth fixture of the Egyptian Premier League, Horus Al Hudud Stadium witnessed a goalless draw between Al Ahli and Horus Al Hudud. Al Ahli started the game with a frontline pressure to score the opener. Our first scoring attempt came in the seventh minute as Walid Suleiman shot a dangerous bar, but it went over the opponent's bar. In the 26th minute, Walter Bualia joined the game instead of Walid, who was forced to leave the pitch after suffering a muscle injury. In the 59th minute, our defender Ayman Ashraf scored the opener, but the referee disallowed after checking the VAR. The final minutes went by and we failed to score the winning goal, but the referee blew his final whistle of the game to declare a goalless draw. In a press conference, Musimani expressed his feeling about the game, saying that Al Ahli missed a lot of chances and Mohamed Shinawi, Al Ahli's goalkeeper, didn't receive any crucial chances from our opponent. He explained the choosing of Walid Suleiman in the lineup due to his amazing performances in the last couples of game. He added that away from the match result, he respects the referee's decisions and that Bualia always tries to score, but pressure could be affecting him. Al Ahli sends an official letter to EFA arguing to put an end to the unquestionable mistakes of the referees. Mistakes such as disallowing right to score goals, not awarding Al Ahli clear penalties and avoiding the appointment of international referees played a role in halting Al Ahli's progression in the league. Thus Al Ahli asked the EFA to intervene in order to put an end to all these mistakes and to implement equal rules on all the clubs to guarantee that the league will be continued in the best possible manner. 
Al-Ahli's director of football, Sayyid Abdul Hafiz, announced that our veteran, Walid Suleiman, will be out for at least four weeks due to an injury. Abdul Hafiz added that the medical scan that Suleiman underwent revealed that the player sustained a hamstring tear. Therefore, Suleiman won't be able to participate with the Red Eagles in the FIFA Club World Cup, which will be held in February. Our attacking player, Suleiman, will perform a special recovery program under the supervisions of Al Ahli medical staff in order to return back and participate in the team's training sessions. Al Ahli women's volleyball team wins the derby at home. After defeating Zamalek 3-1 on Friday night at the Martyrs Hall in Gezira in the Egyptian League, Al Ahli won the first set 25-17, but Zamalek managed to win the second set 25-21. However, the third and the fourth sets went to Al Ahli with scores of 25-17 and 25-10 to win the match 3-1. Thanks for watching Al Ahli Online TV English News from Al Ahli Wiyasam Stadium on Yom Nahatwa. See you next week.